Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the Source 2 Emmy tutorial. In this video, I will be covering how to launch Hammer, the initial configurations, and how to make a basic room. Alright, start up Hammer. Select Hammer in the Steam library menu. Go to Properties, DLC, and then install the workshop tools. Once installed, Go to play, launch workshop tools. Then you have a window will pop up called workshop tools. Go to create add on, name it practice. Now, you don't want to currently enable VR, will lag the editor, so unless you want to test it on VR, do not enable it. Click launch tools. It'll take about 10 seconds sometimes. Now I'm on a hard drive, so it could be less if you're on SSD. Alright. This window will pop up after about seven seconds. I right, it's the asset browser. It's a hub for your assets and tools for source. You have tons of tools, and here is uh, assets you can browse. Double click the hammer symbol. Upon clicking that, this new application will close up. Open up. Click new. Now let's go through the configuration. Now, once it opens up, it will be much different than this. There will be tons of tools over here. Now you can start deleting them. Alright. And then go to layout. And then I recommend this one because it's the one that makes it more organized. Now, in this one, you can do all the work through this window. You don't need to. Well, yeah, you don't need to. And it can make it a lot more messy. And it's a lot more productive just for a little more space on your screen. But it's up to you. Now, if you're picking this one, I adjust this to the left, make this uh, the view top and then front or side, depending on when you need it. Alright, so you have top, front, side, wire, for bright, which is all the lighting, uh, direct lighting, only indirect lighting, direct and ambient, all lighting, which it's not the lighting of be in game, it's kind of similar, it's a little darker. Uh, I don't know. This is for bake lighting. This is the game. You don't need this. Asset browser. It shows assets that can load in prefabs. Object properties. You don't need that. A window pop up. Entity input output. You don't need that. Alright. Next, let's just go place a brush so we could make a room. Now, uh, we gotta go over all the tools first. Just make a brush, which is Shift B. Let's go through this. Translate T. All right, this moves the brush. It can move in any direction. All right, move that up. All right. Next, rotate tool. All right, rotate this way. If you grab the middle, in the middle, you can uh, rotate wherever your mask goes to. Right. And most of the controls are the same, like undoing, which is Control Z. Right. Next, we have scale, which is E. You can scale in any direction. The middle ones, which scale it all out. All right. Next, let's go through these. All right. Shift D spawns an entity. All right. You can have uh, any one set. I have it player start, and then here, you can set it to if you want a headcrab. You can have headcrab spawn. All right. Next, brush tool. Shift B creates brushes. All right. Now I'm calling it grid size eight. 64. We'll cover that later. Br pass rope. Pass tool. This creates tons of passes. Uh, it's, I don't really use this tool because it creates stuff like this. Right? Polygon tool, it creates a 2D polygon, so if you want a big old stuff like that. All right. Next, clipping tool. All right. Select the tool, click Shift X. We use meshes now, so there are some of the faces can be deleted. So if it's not going to be seen, don't cap this. Cap, don't cap your shift. Alright, Shift X, you can just rotate that them. Delete. Mirror tool. It mirrors anything you have selected. Alright, so you have that now. Alright. Brush tool, you have to be faces. Alright, to work over these later. Just select a texture. It's Shift T to do it on the run. Shift right click to pick another texture. Alright. Next. We're gonna go for uh, displacements. Go search up a blend texture. Most, a lot of textures are blend. They're massively supported now, right? So now we have that. All right, go down here. 
I, uh, this, uh, you just do this base change for when you are done with the map. You can't really edit it. Right. Uh, you have to put it to select faces or everything, and then channel if you want to be doing the, uh, the standard one. Or if you want to mix, uh, turn down the shrinks. This one, uh, if you want to be like a clear dust, you want to turn like pretty much all the way down. Right. Shrinks, uh, it really just how much you have to push. I feel like this is more of the strengths tool than this. I don't really see the difference this makes. Alright. Next we have displacements. There's a range of tools. Alright. There's uh, mixed uh, shapes. Flattens. Moves. Alright. Now. Uh, let's go through this. This creates physics. If you have prop physics, it will give physics to that so you can place it in real ways. Right. As a browser, it can put a bunch of assets in one area. Now, let's go through this. Vertex ease. Just manipulate the vertex of a uh, thing. Press 1 to get that. Right. 2 for edges. It just manipulates edges. Right. 3 faces. Right. Just manipulate faces. All right. Then meshes. Instead of uh, brushes now, so it's to use the meshes, which supports better, uh, more complex geometry, and kind of have deleted faces. All right. Object. This is for mesh entities. All right. And yet to be on meshes or above to access entities. Otherwise, they just don't pop up. Groups. This is groups of mesh entities or, or groups of entities or groups of entities with mesh entities. This is for navigation. All right. You will create a walkable seat around and click nav preview. Uh, if you have like weird stuff like this, it could kind of crash your game. Alright, then we go with this. This is uh, local, like local pivots. This creates like a custom grid. Alright, this uh, this returns a standard grid. These are uh, texture moving lock, texture scaling lock, frequency manipulation lock. I right, don't know what these two. Like this hides all entities, hides helpers, hide entities, hide brushes, right? and it also hides the uh, grid. Right. Uh, this, uh, uh, if you have a light turned off, this will display the, display the light. Right. This, it shows uh, the the meshes, the the subdivisions. Right. This shows the animations. Right. Let's go down here. FPS grid size, uh, same to change it. Snap Shift W. Right, this is a manipulation snapping. The, the grid size. Let's create a small room. Right. Right, just delete all this. Now, uh, the sizes are kind of tweaked, although uh, since but uh, and like your players a little taller. And instead of like, uh, I think it was like 0.7 of an inch as a unit, it's now one inch equals one unit. Right. So, just uh, create a, so you usually just create the same like size. Don't think it really makes a difference, really. So, you can just create a room. Now, if you're going to create one room, uh, a really easy way to do a sensor using meshes now, just create the uh, block itself. Alright, so something like this. Now, uh, then make it 28 units high. Now you have to click enter for it to apply. Now, uh, if you press F, it will invert the faces inward. So, this uh, now, Source uh, 2 doesn't have much optimization techniques, but one is just delete faces that aren't being seen. Now, if you just kind of have like a bunch of rooms. You want to flip the normals because not only does it uh, remove the hassle of having to create brushes for each, sorry, meshes, but it also better optimization because you don't have any more face of the ship. Now, let's create a small room. Let's just go search up dev. Alright. Shift C, Shift T, Shift T. Or if you want all to be selected, click select contiguous element. Alright, now we have a small room. Create an entity. Alright, now in a pile. Let's start. Right, click F9. Uh, you can have custom settings uh, on fast compile. You don't have build viz. 
I just select this, and this is what I use. Generate light maps. This is basically your file compiles. All right. Light maps. Unless you have them a really high one, which takes very long, it looks worse than the fast one. So, click build. Now, if you want these to be checked, just name it untitled. Now, uh, upon a load, it could take a while. This one takes very uh, shortly. Right, and then uh, there is no lighting, so if you want a uh, same way to just do it, Matt and go through right one, and then you have no lighting, and then you can see it. Uh, entities, you don't have to respond to any weapons. Now you can do impulse 101 for testing, although it doesn't really show the entities. There is a mod you can get for the entity grenades that work. Shotguns don't really work. Uh, and yes, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, another one seems to be coming soon.